When you go silent on the narcissist, they are absolutely going crazy. Have you ever wondered what really goes on in a narcissist's head when you stop speaking to them? What happens when you go completely silent? If you've ever thought about the power of silence, you're in the right place. Stay with me as we explore just how impactful asterisk your asterisk silence can be on a narcissist. Let's get this straight. This isn't about getting revenge. It's not about plotting payback. No, this is about something way more powerful. Realizing the truth behind all their manipulation, seeing through the games, and deciding that you won't be part of it anymore. Your silence is your strength. Here's the thing. The narcissist thrives on control. They need to be the one calling the shots, running the show. But when you pull back and go quiet, it throws them off completely. They can no longer manipulate or dominate the situation. You're essentially saying, I'm done with your games. I'm done engaging. And trust me, this silence will rattle them. They're used to your reactions, your responses, your engagement. But when you stop, when you go silent, they're left scrambling. So, what happens next? How will the narcissist react to this sudden change? Let's dive into it and break it down. Initially, their response will be one of confusion. They'll try to understand what's happening, perhaps assuming that this is just a short-lived reaction or a temporary shift on your part. They might even start making efforts to restore the connection, thinking it's just a matter of winning you back. Expect charm to suddenly appear. They'll turn on the sweetness, shower you with niceties, and perhaps even place you back on pedestal, believing that a little kindness might break your resolve. However, once they see that their efforts aren't working, a different sign will emerge. Anger. Intense frustration will start to surface as they realize that you aren't behaving as they anticipated. You've stopped playing by their rules, and this unpredictability creates a sense of unease for them. They no longer have the power to manipulate your reactions, which makes them feel deeply anxious. Their loss of control triggers panic, and that's when things get really unsettling for them. In their desperation, they might start reaching out through various channels, social media, leaving comments on your posts, or contacting your friends and family in an attempt to provoke a response from you. These actions are all calculated efforts to regain the control they've lost. Your silence is creating a void that they can't stand, and they need to fill it with your attention. Soon, you'll notice a shift towards desperation. There may be expressions of feigned remorse, hollow apologies, or promises of change. But keep in mind, these aren't genuine apologies. They're just tactical moves to get you to engage again. They simply cannot handle the quiet, and they'll go to great lengths to break it. Have you noticed the extreme ups and downs in their behavior? It's all a result of their diminishing control over you. When they can't predict how you'll respond, they're left clueless and frustrated. If they don't get the reaction they're hoping for, anger is bound to surface. They can't contain their rage because they're overwhelmed by unprocessed emotions. When things don't unfold according to their desires, they lash out in fury. This is rooted in their deep fear and frustration. What's likely to occur next is that they'll attempt to reassert control. They may reach out to you or possibly even find someone else to fill the void. They might already have another person in the wings, but at the core, it's all about regaining dominance. What you need to understand is how profoundly your silence affects them. If you've already seen through their tactics, they won't be able to handle it. Even if they have a new source of validation, it won't change how they feel deep down. They may try to suppress their discomfort, but you'll be able to sense it. Their actions will remain driven by their fragile ego, always seeking to provoke a response from you. The most effective response you can give is to remain silent. Don't waste your energy trying to resolve things, seek closure, or understand their reasoning. You won't get any of those things from them, because they're not capable or willing to provide them. At the core of this dynamic lies one thing, control. That's the essence of the entire relationship. They crave control because it gives them a false sense of stability. Where they dominate you, they feel empowered and secure in their own existence. I understand, though, that breaking free is incredibly tough. It's much simpler to turn away when they're being cruel, as it's easy to identify them as the source of harm. But when they're being kind, that's when the struggle truly begins, 
when they approach you with warmth or sweetness, it's far harder to ignore their attempts. Rejecting them feels unnatural, especially when they are being pleasant. But here's the hard truth. You must build an impenetrable wall and set firm boundaries. This person will never change, and their primary desire will always be to control you. Consider this. If you were to return to them, what would it look like? Trust me, they would punish you for walking away, and they would do so by withdrawing from you, using silence as their weapon to make you pay. This situation isn't about you trying to hurt them, but that's exactly how they will interpret it. You can bet on it. They will find ways to punish you, emotionally and mentally. When they reach out, they will try to evoke pity from you, to make you feel guilty for leaving. But none of it is genuine. It's just another facade, much like everything else they've done from the start. Everything they say and do is a manipulation, as that's the only way they understand relationships, through control and deceit. It's something crucial to keep in mind. Choosing to remain silent is a potent way to establish boundaries. Silence is not weakness. It's one of the most powerful forms of resistance you can use. Narcissists thrive on manipulating and controlling others, and your silence disrupts their sense of dominance. By maintaining this boundary, you take away their control, forcing them to face a situation where they cannot dictate the terms. When you choose silence, you create a mental space for yourself. It gives you the chance to reflect, process what's happening, and reclaim your personal strength. Instead of being drained or overwhelmed by their influence, you start to regain your power and clarity. This gives you the freedom to step back and evaluate the situation from a place of calm. You no longer feel trapped or at their mercy. You're taking control of the situation by choosing how much of yourself to give, rather than letting them dictate your emotional state. I truly hope this message resonates with you, and I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Take care.